this is Mike Tagi and in this video we will be solving another simple problem which is divisible sum pairs. So this problem is under implementation under easy category. Uh, so let's read the problem statement and then we will get into writing the code for this problem. So the problem statement says you are given an array of n integers and that is array equals to array element 0, 1, 2, 3 up to n minus 1, array element n minus 1. Okay. Then we are given a positive integer k. Then uh, we have to find okay find and print the number of ij pairs where i less than j okay and array of i plus array of j is divisible by k okay so uh, i will be less than j so there is an example given array is elements are given 1 2 3 4 5 6 and k equals to 5 so our three pairs meeting the criteria are 1 and 4 okay so i equals to 0 and j equals to 0 1 2 and 3 so 1 and 3 uh, that is 4 and 5 which is divisible by 5 similarly uh, 1 and 2 which is 2 and 3 uh, which also equals to 5 and 5 is divisible by 5 okay so now uh, the third one is 3 and 4 sorry 3 and 5 so 3 and 5 element 3 is 4 and element 5 is 6 so if we add array 4 array 4 a of okay so 4 plus a of 5 which is equals to 10. So 10 is also divisible by 5. So that's the example. So let's write the code. So first of all, uh, we have to return the count. So let's declare a count variable and count equals to 0. Now let's loop through it for int i equals to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Now there is a condition given that i will be less than j. So now let's take another loop for int j equals to i plus 1 j less than n and similarly j plus 1 and what we have to check we have to simply check if our array of i plus array of j and if you mod that sum by k and if it equals to 0 then we have to just simply increment the value of count. Simple count plus plus. Okay. So that's the simple logic. Now what we have to do, we have to just simply return the value of count. Let's submit. All the test case has been passed. So this problem is quite uh, simple. Uh, you have to just look through the all the elements and check whether if the next element that are next to the uh, current element and if we sum them and if it is divisible by k then we have to simply increment the count value by 1 and if it's not then we have to check for next, check for next element that's the simple logic so i hope you like the solution thanks for watching